I have an awesome one for you today. We're going to use simple transitions in DaVinci Resolve to make an awesome custom stinger for your live stream. DaVinci Resolve is totally free editing software and you can use it to repurpose your live streams or create custom stingers for OBS, as I'm gonna be showing you today. There are links in the description so you can download it and check it out for yourself. So you know what? Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna go in our new folder. We'll go over to edit here. That's where you start. And we're gonna go into file. And we wanna go to project settings. Just make sure that this is the same as you stream at. So if you stream 1920 by 1080 and 30, make sure it's that. If you stream 60, you wanna scroll down and make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and 60. And we're good to go. We can just click on that. Next thing we're gonna do is go into our effects. And we're gonna to go to generators and we're gonna grab a solid color, drag it down here. We do not need all that space there because we're not gonna add any audio in this particular case. And what I'm gonna do is move my playhead out and we're gonna make our transition two seconds long. So I'm just gonna move this out to the two second mark. And there we go. And we'll shrink it up. That way the midpoint's gonna be at the uh, 30 frames part. And then all we need to do is go in here. We're gonna change this color to a green screen style color. Click okay. Very cool. I'm gonna go back into effects. I'm gonna load another solid color in here. Shrink it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this color to the blue that I use. A little more, less green. There we go. So now we have the green color on the bottom, the blue color on the top. I wanna to add one more color. And this one is gonna be a yellowish color. That'll work. So now we've got our three colors in here. And I wanna go back to our media pool and I'm gonna drag in a logo. You can use any logo, probably should have alpha. And there we go. You can drag this down here, put it on top. You can see what that looks like. And I definitely want to dull out my yellow a little bit. And I'm gonna take this yellow color, we're gonna go into settings, and I'm gonna go ahead and add softness to it. We're gonna crop it on the top, the left, the right, and the bottom. So it's just kind of covering our logo a little bit. You can see what the crop does or what the softness does. It adds all this extra blurriness around the edges. Then I want to take my logo here and what I'm going to do is go ahead and shrink it up just a little bit. And there we go. So now all we have to do is go back into effects and we're going to find a transition that we want to use. Doesn't matter which one. They're all kind of fun. The beautiful thing about it is that you can kind of use any one of these transitions to do this. And there we go. Center wipe, triangle left, star. I think we could probably do the star or the split screen. I kind of like that. The heart, the band wipe is kind of cool. Let's go with Venetian blind. All right, so we're gonna drag this all the way down. We're gonna put it on our blue. We're gonna select this transition. And we're gonna go into ease, and we're gonna do in and out, and it's gonna add a curve to our transition. As you can see there, zoom out a little bit. And we're not gonna actually see this because it is behind, but there we go, we bring the blue in and we just need to bring the blue out. So we're gonna make sure it's selected, hold down the Alt key, drag it over to the other side. And then so we have the blue and the blue will disappear. And we're gonna basically select it again, hold down the Alt key, we're gonna drag it up here. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So now we go over here, we've got our green in the background and that really honestly is not green enough. We need it to be more green screen like. There we go. That'll work. And so we get our blue and yellow and disappears. 
We're going to do the same thing with our logo. So we're going to hold down the Alt key, drag it over, drag it over, and there we go. All right. So that is a really, really simple, easy transition. We're going to go to Deliver. We'll just call this one Blinds. We're going to select a location where we want our transition to go. QuickTime H264, make sure your resolution and your frames per second is proper. We're going to add it to the render queue. And we're going to go ahead and render it out. That only takes a few seconds. Now all we have to do is go back into our edit screen, go to our media pool. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag that file we just created in here. And then we're going to right click on it. And we're going to create a new timeline using the selected clip. And you don't need to change anything there. Boom. So now you can see our file is imported in here. What we're going to do is we're going to take that green and we're going to make it alpha. We're going to remove it. So we're going to go to color. We're going to use our color picker tool right here. And we're going to select the green. Then we're going to use this to invert that green. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to add an alpha output and we're going to go ahead and drag this down here and boom you can see our green turns to alpha and when we scroll through here you're going to see that we have a nice blinds effect it's exactly what we're looking for so we can go to deliver and then here we're going to go ahead and call this blinds alpha so we know which one is the correct one we can send it to the same location we're still going to use quicktime we are, however, going to drop the codec down, go to uncompressed. Then we're going to drop the type down, go to BGRA. We want to make sure our resolution and frame rate are proper, and we want to click export alpha, add it to the render queue, and render it out. Now all we need to do is convert this. So I'm going to use Shutter Encoder to do that. Shutter Encoder is totally free to convert your files to make them more easy for OBS to handle. So there is a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And we just take this Blinds Alpha Movie, drag it in here. We're going to choose our function. In this case, it is going to be VP9. Then we're going to go over here to Advanced Features and we're going to select Enable Alpha Channel. And we're going to click Start Function. And this is going to create a smaller file that's easier to use. So 907 kilobytes. Really, really awesome. This is such a cool free tool. All right, all we have to do now is add that into OBS. All right, so here we are in OBS. You can see I have a bunch of different scenes. Right now the transition is just the fade transition. So what I'm going to do is drop this down and we're going to select Add Stinger. And we'll call this Blinds. And click OK. Then we're going to select our video file. And we want to make sure we choose the WebM file. We're going to open it. Then we're going to drop the transition point from time to frames. And then we're going to put 30 frames. That's the midway point. And what we're going to do then is go down here and we're going to fade our audio. Uh, we're going to use crossfade. If you have a fade out transition point and then fade in, your audio is going to fade out when the transition happens and then fade in on the other side. If you use crossfade, it will carry your audio through the transition, assuming that both pieces of audio are on both sides of the transition. So let's go ahead and click OK. Looks pretty good. And there is our transition. And what did that take? Like five minutes? It's so easy to create transitions using free DaVinci Resolve. And of course, you know there's a link in the description to DaVinci Resolve so that you can download it and create all these custom transitions for yourself. Can't be much easier than that. If there's a DaVinci trick you want me to show you, well, let me know about it in the comments. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.